Guys, can you hear me? My husband said he spotted someone or something next to our car again. I know this sounds weird, but he said it looked like an alien. But they ran into the cornfields and disappeared. I'm going to call the police. Amy, don't. I don't trust the cops or the government, or anyone else for that matter. And you shouldn't trust them either. We created our neighborhood watch for this exact reason. Brandon, I understand the situation, but this needs to stop. It's also absolutely irresponsible to send Ryan out tonight. Amy, don't tell the officials anything. Otherwise, we all end up in the nut house. Are you trying to tell them we think there's little green men running around? Gray, Brandon. They are gray. The only thing we can do in our situation is to board up our windows and doors. I'll try to rest a bit. Uh, but Amy, trust me, you don't want to end up in the psych ward. I've paid a high price to break free. The only way to escape Bob, was to... you've told your stupid story a thousand times. In Vietnam, we dealt with things worse than that almost every day. What does Vietnam have to do with it? Whatever. I always wear my tinfoil hat when I leave my camper van. I believe the aliens have the ability to control us through telepathic powers. I'm convinced that the hat protects me. Hey, guys. Henry's been acting strange since he came home from the forest this morning. I don't know what's going on with him. Ryan! Hey, my kitty cat's also behaving really strangely. And she hasn't come home yet. Please. Look for her during your shift. I'm really lonely without her. Uh, Henry is more important right now. But if I find your cat, I'll let you know, Bob. All right. I'll reach out to the other neighbors. I'll tell them to board up all their stuff. The fact is, our government is hiding something from the people. Things like this just don't happen here in Grey Hill. It started with Roswell, and it's been increasing since the 60s. That is the way it is. Are you and your bat ready for the night shift? Ryan Baker, the king of baseball. Yeah, Brandon. I am. Don't forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, Amy. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. Oh, That's Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, there's someone in your room. Is Rachel in there? God, I hope not. She should stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. I shouldn't do that now. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry. Stay here. Someone was in your room. They went out the window. Max is barking! <sighs> Fuck this hell. Max, stop barking! Who's there? Is someone in the shed? Max, be quiet! What the hell? I need to find someone to break this door.
Sounds like the neighbors are boarding up their windows. I guess I should do the same. We should all do the same. Man. I hope this is over soon. What the hell was that light? Dad, it wasn't Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the roof. It's okay, he's gone now. There was a strange light. Look! The TV! It's working now! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern, and don't forget to be aware of the small green man in your backyard. Your Mr. Broker. That is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. They're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Dad, we need to get out of this cursed place. I hate this neighborhood hole. Ryan, are you there? I'll go talk to Brandon. I'm here. Ryan, something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know? He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check immediately what happened to him. Okay, I'll go check on him. By the way, someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. I almost caught them in our shed. But there was a strange blue light. I'm sure Pull yourself here. together. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. We will overcome this night and drive to our holiday home by tomorrow. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last uh, summer. Brandon! Imagine how you I can still have to gun pay for that. Sober. But leaving town tomorrow sounds like a good idea. I'll keep you updated. Over and out.
don't think so. Damn it. on her head. I mean, it looks like Kitty. I should bring her to his caravan. already boarded up his door weeks ago. I'll have to try the dormer window on his roof. you on my roof <gasps> is this kitty my cat yeah I caught her out in the field near the tractor oh what does she have on her head I don't know it makes a strange noise it sounds like electricity or something oh and Bob I had a strange encounter in my backyard there was also some kind of weird electricity I'll tell you about it later let's look at the cat on the table I'll take a closer look. Looks like an implant, or some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty, and had experiments. By the way, have you boarded up your house? It's really dangerous and gray out these days. No, not yet. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son Henry too. They go into your brains by telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell anything to the police. As Brandon said before, the 
government knows it. Now, take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tinfoil's on the kitchen desk. Brian, please check the monitors! Huh? Fast! What the hell is this? No, 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 Hear me. I think I remember there being a fence through the cornfield. I just need to get around the side of the
Why is there a secret file of Greyhill in a police car? This doesn't make any sense. Bob, thank God, Henry. They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam right through the roof. And a squad car crashed back there. I think Amy called him, but the car's empty and the office is gone. Ryan, this is an absolute invasion. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Humans, animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything, making experiments of everyone. This is an extraterrestrial investigation. This can't be our end. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They already cleaned your house, so I don't think they're gonna come back. I've already started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the Creek family. Mr. Creek put them on the table in the house. You have to go get them. It's the first house on the left. I think he boarded all it right, up. All right, I'll get them. You have to find a way in. communicate by walkies from now on. Test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Over. Yeah, I can hear you. By the way, I found a gun in that crashed squad car back there. Great. Let's hope I don't Be have to use it. And sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots and see you. Also, avoid using the flashlight. The Greys could see it immediately. And take note, it's important that they don't follow you into a house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, hide in a car, a trash can, or something else. Yeah, great. Trash cans. Brandon would love to see that. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Brian. I'm waiting for you. Damn it.
Great, Ryan, you've got him! I've got some ammo. Ryan, Take are you there? Brandon, I'm here. Aliens everywhere, Ryan. They're trying to get inside my house. Rachel, go to your room. Hide under your bed. My house is boarded up. I'm not sure if this helps. I need help, Ryan. Brandon! Brandon, hang on! I'm coming! Okay, Ryan. Go to Brandon. He needs your help. In the meantime, I'll try to get my caravan working. They disabled all the cars in Greyhill. Shouldn't go that way. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Uh, I can hear please, you. Please, it's my name's Ryan. There. Who is this? My name's Apone. Thank God you're here. Who are you? 
In which barn? There's tons of them. I'm not sure. I just... I just woke up here. I... I can't remember what happened before that. You said your name was Ryan, right? I have to tell you something. The government, they... They know everything. They... They knew the invasion was happening here. They're gonna cover it up. Like they always have. I'm sorry. I, I got here too late. Uh, shit! Listen, Ryan, you have to get as much tinfoil as you can. At least five rolls. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think that was that cop that crashed his car. How does he know all of this? Where the hell am I gonna find all that foil?
That should be enough. I should check in on Amy. She has to be in the diner. Where's Amy? She should be here. Ryan, thank God you're here. Are you okay? No! Nothing is okay! They abducted Henry. I have to find a way inside that UFO. Meanwhile, I've been trying to get to Brandon's house because he's in trouble too. We'll help you, Ryan. The cars don't drive anymore, but maybe this old biplane does. We could use the biplane to get near the UFO. That seems like a long shot. But I guess it's our only option. But even if we do get close, how the hell are we gonna get inside of that thing? I don't know. Maybe Matt has a solution for that. He is on the farm to get some stuff. Can you tell him that the biplane is almost repaired? All right. And by the way, that officer you called? They got him. They imprisoned him in a barn somewhere around town. I also found some odd documents about Greyhill in the squad car. I never call the police. Brandon forbid that. Yeah? But I thought you don't listen to our chief. Usually I don't listen to him. This time I did. But who called him then? I don't know. I'll go talk to Matt now. Ryan. We'll find a solution to rescue Henry. Matt, is that you?
need to find a key. Hello? Hello? Help! I'm, I'm locked in here! Matt! What are you doing and in there? I just came and I... I hid in the safe and then now I'm... I'm locked in here. Oh, shit! Okay, um... I don't know the code, but I'll look for it. So just hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Ryan, you don't think that they, um... You know, probe us. When we become what? abducted. I don't know, man. They abducted Henry. Trying not to think about that right now. Just hang on and let me get you out of there. Oh, Ryan. We'll help you. Please. Please look for the code. My back hurts already. But make sure the greys don't follow you into this room. Otherwise, you have to lure them away. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. All right. I'm gonna go talk to Amy about our plan to rescue your son. Can you go and search for a barrel of kerosene and bring it to the barn gate? Yeah, I'll go find one. You just better have that plane ready. Okay, let's bring it to the barn door. I can hear you. What happened? I'm not sure. I... I can't think straight. He cut me. Bad. I think I got away before they could finish. They put something in me. It's cold to the touch. Some kind of metal, maybe. I'm almost at the church. Can you see it? Inside. We need to talk about next steps. All right, I'll be right there. And I looked, and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness round about it, and out of the mist thereof as if it were glowing metal, out of the mist of the fire, and out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, Father and Cram every Father one Cram had Ryan. Don't you hear that I'm preaching? Stop interrupting me! Did you see a police officer come through here? His name is Apone. And you think he can secure you from the angels of God? F Father! Those aren't angels! This is an alien invasion! They abducted my son and I need to save him! Who knows what they're doing to him?! Ryan, he is in God's hands. What do you think when I give that the angels take me? Your son is blessed. It begins. It begins now.
I'm here. Ryan, glad to finally meet you. Listen, these motherfuckers, they, they probed me. It hurts. I can't help you anymore. But here's the number of the man who sent me here. Take it. They took my son. Do you know how to get him back? Call the number. You'll know what to do. He'll help you find your son. Help you stop this invasion. <laughs> He's done this before. Don't call anybody else. Not the police. Not the government. They won't help you. <clears throat> not unless you want to end up in the psych ward if you survive all this. Only trust the man on this number. <laughs> I never thought I'd die in a goddamn graveyard. <laughs> Pone! A pone! Don't die, goddammit! Where the fuck am I gonna find a working phone? The phones are down. Obviously. Guess I'll have to check the telecom pedestal down the street.
the circuit board is broken. Where the hell am I gonna find one of those? Hey, this actually might work. There. That should about do it. Now time to call this mystery man. Please pick up the phone. Yeah? Uh, hey. My name's Ryan. I'm calling from Greyhill. Your friend Depone gave me this number. He... He's dead. I'm... I'm sorry. He told me that he came too late and that I should call this number. Depone is dead? Ryan, did he tell you about using tinfoil? And if so, do you have enough? Yeah, I got it. Listen, they took my son. He's on board one of those fucking ships. A pwn said you can help me. Yeah, I can. Now listen to me, and do what I tell you. Wrap your entire body in the tinfoil. Completely cover yourself head to toe, and let them abduct you. I know this sounds crazy, but if you want your son back, you have to trust me. Uh, seriously? Yes. Ryan, trust me. Who exactly are you? And how do you know this works? Fuck. This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. Alright, that's it. God, I look like an idiot. Oh, yes. I got the plane working. But the guy in the 
phone so this plan won't work. We have to warn them. Amy, can you hear me? Matt! Matt, can you hear me? Ah, oh, fuck. I'll try it again later. But where's the plane? I don't hear them anymore. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. It's a goddamn UFO parking lot out here. I'm gonna have to go around them. Yeah, I'm okay? good. But something is wrong with Amy and Matt. They started the biplane to rescue Henry, but I don't know where they are, and I can't hear the plane anymore. They might have been taken by those things. Hey, where are you? What's your plan? I'm pretty close to Brandon's house. This detour took way longer than expected. I hope he's okay. I don't have time to explain everything, but this cop I met... They got him. He's dead. He was Ryan. sent to warn us by a mysterious man, who I contacted, and he told me the only way to rescue Henry is to dress up in tinfoil and let them abduct me. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but if it's the only shot I have to get Henry back, I have to try. Yes! That could work! Well, at least to avoid them going into your brain. I'll guide you once you're in it. <laughs> Sounds good. Make sure you get your van up and running. Once I get Henry, we'll drive out and meet with the mysterious man. He can help us figure this all out. Wait, Bob. That... that sounds like Amy's walkie. That's Amy! Amy! Amy, are you there? Amy! I can't hear you! Can you hear me? Henry! I'm coming for you! God damn it! Fuck! No! Please, no! God! This is Mr. LaFletch's house. What was his name again? Matthew! Are you here? Brandon? What the fuck are they doing to him? I think they're all on the same ship. What in the hell should I do now? That was Brandon's kid. She's still in the house. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Need to find something to break this door.
Rachel! Ryan! Um, what are you wearing? Oh, man. I'm so glad they didn't get you. I was hiding under my bed, but they got Daddy! Uh, yeah, I know. My dad says the government is lying about everything. Well, he's right. But don't worry, though. I'll protect you. I have to get on that saucer to save him, so I'll bring you to Bob, okay? He can watch after you until I come you back with your dad. You can't protect me? My dad says you're a weakling, and you can't protect anybody. He said you couldn't even save your own marriage. Uh, well, I know he's your dad, but... Don't believe everything he says. And besides, I killed a few of those aliens on the way over here. And your dad's the one stuck on the ship. What? Where is your son? Where is Henry? <sighs> they got him too. Ryan, that sounds like a car! What? They must be driving through town stopping for gas or something. Vietnam like my dad was, right? Uh, no. Well, can you check the window? God bless you. Huh? Rachel, no! Where are you going? Stay! Ah! What the fuck is going on with this kid? And what the hell is Brandon teaching his daughter? Max, is that you?
Let them take me! Oh, Rachel! She's still here! Looks like the light from the shed. Ryan! Ryan, are you here? Ryan! Yeah, Bob! A few of them greeted me some minutes ago, while I was out working on the caravan. After taking a photo shoot, I asked them if they wanted to have some coke, but... Bob, it's okay. All good. I got it. Just joking! I imprisoned one in the bedroom, and I put a tinfoil hat on him. I'm gonna make some experiments, but I won't probe him. Bob, I swear. Please stop. Uh, maybe sell him on the black. We got market. Brandon's daughter, so I'm a little busy. Uh, what okay. do you need? I found a solution to make the caravan work. It'll take me a few minutes to oh, get it done. Bob, that's great. That's what I needed to hear. It'll be our chance to get out of this town. I have to save Rachel first. She's trapped in the barn by the gas station. I'm going to get her. Then we can make a plan to save Henry. Yes, Ryan. We have to be fast with Henry. God, I hope they didn't start drilling into his teeth. Bob, can you not say shit like that? I don't even want to think about it. I heard Brandon causing trouble for them on the saucer through Amy's walkie. I think they're all on the same Ooh, shit. That's good. Okie doke. Bye, Ryan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rachel is in there. Why the hell did they use a bike chain to lock the gate? It's crazy. I'm gonna have to find some bolt cutters or something to get through there. Why can't anything ever go smoothly?
Rachel, I'm here. Come with me if you want to uh, believe. <laughs> well, I've always wanted to say. Glad that. you're here. And the caravan's working. I'm gonna put Rachel in your bedroom. She needs rest. Bob, seriously. You imprisoned an alien. I, I told you I did it, dude. Just lay her on the carpet. But again, I didn't probe him. Didn't probe him. Just put a tinfoil hat on him. Ha ha. So funny, Bob. I think he's one of their dentists, not one of their butt drillers. That doesn't sound good, Bob. I'll go out and try and get its attention. I need to get it to abduct me. It's my only shot at getting Henry back. Drive to Nevada and take Rachel with you. I think that's where our mysterious friend is. I'm gonna work with your mysterious friend together to bring all this to the public. All right. His number is 555-0199. Call him as soon as possible. And Bob, all right, I gotta go. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, uh, Ryan, you know, you were the only one who didn't think I was crazy. Thanks for that, man. I love you. Isn't working. Henry. Henry. All right. See ya. seem to have worked out pretty good for Rachel and me. Uh, I hate that we don't know what happened on the UFO to Ryan and the others, but... Well, after Ryan was abducted, his dog Max came along, and together we're now on our way to meet this mysterious man. I mean, that was the Greyhill incident. Time for a new book, yeah? God, I hope I'll find a publisher this time. Ah, look at me. Rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourself. Catch you on later down the road. Hey, Rachel. What was your favorite part about the story of Greyhound? Uh, Bob? Why are you just talking?